we are on the Triumph Scrambler. This is my third borrow of this bike. Uh, thanks to Triumph Newcastle and Warkev. The reason I want my third go is because every time I go out I love it so much I can't be bothered to stop and put the cameras on and put cameras at the side of the road to film footage and things like that it's just brilliant this is one excellent motorcycle my favorite bit has got to be the suspension it is plush as but this is the top spec one it's got the Olins on uh, so yeah lovely bit of kit and all the fancy buttons as well I mean it's got you know traction and cornering ABS and all that sort of palaver but to be honest I'm not bothered about all the clever bits I just love the way it rides it is awesome proper quality So you have a brilliant idea where you buy a nice new microphone, a different camera holder so you can plug a microphone in and talk as you're riding along. And then the wind gets you in the microphone and yes, loads of wind. So back to the drone board and do how we normally do, edit it and put the voice over after. So here we are going down the country lane uh, and this is where you find out how good the suspension is, bump the road, the old inch is a bit lovely uh, and then your Brembo brakes again loads of feel the whole bike is set up beautifully it's a mega thing to ride uh, even with all this electronic gadgetry which you'll see in a second going around the corner accelerating away traction control light comes on now I was none the wiser of this because the GoPro is in the way of the screen so I can't see these clocks but you're going around the corner and if you're not feeling it it must just be working mega the, the traction control, I mean you can see there, the speed doesn't back off, the thing doesn't misfire, it just works, around the corner again, accelerate away, light on, keeps accelerating, and it just, just works, brilliant, brilliant setup. become a clever dick and I'll turn everything off so into the menu start scrolling through find out where the traction control is right in mode there it is turn down 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 traction control brilliant up the top turn it off excellent so I think the traction control is off but I'm in the wrong menu so we'll see what happens As you can see, after rubbish wheelie number two, the traction control actually does work because it's stopping it from misbehaving. So we'll have one more go. Maybe after an equally third rubbish attempt, I decided let's have a look into the menu on this motorcycle properly. So here we go, let's have a look into the dash. So your engine kill switch, which is on your right hand handlebar, you use that because it's a keyless ignition. So you set it to run, you hear your fuel pump kick in, and then off we go. So we'll press the home button again on the right hand handlebar. Now, to scroll down through the screen, as you can see here, you use the little joystick, which is on the left-hand handlebar, down for down, up for up. So, to move through your screens, you see this little red arrow, so you push it left or right, previous, left, forward, right, and then if you want to accept something, you press the joystick into the centre, uh, and that accepts what you've picked. 
So as you can see, using the menu button, there's loads of stuff you can scroll through in the background. So obviously there's the traction, obviously there's the rider, then you've got your riding modes. There's loads of stuff, but the good thing is if you make a mistake, so if you turn the traction off and you want it back on, they've got a reset to default. So anything you mess around with can be easily reset. Left hand handlebar has another menu button, which works the front of the clocks, which we'll show you now. So once you press your mode button, you're into your maps. And as you can see them there, and use your little joystick again to move them down or up. And you've got loads of them, off-road, off-road pro, sport, brain, the works. Move the joystick to the left or the right, and you can start scrolling through different styles of clocks now. So you've got uh, night time, you've got day time, and the one in the middle, the circle with a line through it, that means it changes as you're riding along. If you go into the bushes and it goes dark, the screen will change to make it easier for you to see. You can even change the style. We're into quartz now. Uh, and again, that, you can have loads of information shown or very little. It's down to you. The last thing about the clocks, look at that. Good evening. How polite is that? And I even got to have a go of the other model. So I've had a ride of the XC in blue and the XC in green. And here we are, I took it to the lakes, having a little poodle along the country lane. These are really good bikes, whichever one you have. Uh, obviously the XC has a few more rider modes, which are full of pro. They both got cruise control, they both got excellent brakes. Uh, they're just lovely to ride, I really enjoy these bikes. Fully recommend them to anybody. As they say, all good things must come to an end, and here I am taking my beloved scrambler back to work. Uh, I have thoroughly enjoyed making this video because I've enjoyed riding the bikes that much. I uh, hope you've found something of interest in here, and I'll see you again for my next video. Who knows what it will be? Bye for now.